Today is November 11th and we are in the puppy nursery. Just woke all the puppies up. They are playing. And um, on our website, svcctoys.com, we have a section, you have to sort of root around to find it, but it's called Favorite Things. And in it, we have a bag of toys that puppies this age love to play with. And so you see, I have just opened a new bag of toys to give this group of puppies. And we only do these kind of toys with this age puppy, or actually with any age puppy, supervised. Meaning, when they get a little older, there are squeakers in these things, and so I don't leave them alone with these toys. I don't leave them alone with these toys because they'll take the squeaker out and eat the stuffing, and I don't want that to happen, so I always make sure I'm supervising when they have these kinds of toys. The type of toy that they can have without supervision is one of these cow hooves, which is great for them when they are teething. They love these. And as soon as these cow hooves get down to, uh, sort of eaten down to a small little tip here, then I take it away and throw it away. But these toys are all on our website, favorite products. So you can see them there. If you are getting one of these puppies, they will have been very used to playing with these toys and I'll probably send you home with some of them definitely be sending you home with things that smell familiar to them. So you've probably noticed they sleep sometimes in that crate with mom. They sleep in these little beds. And so when you get a puppy from us, we will make sure that it goes home with things that it's used to, including a potty pad. So what's happening here with potty training? Well, let me explain that. They, they know now, they're at an age old enough four and a half weeks old. They know to sleep in their little beds. So when they get sleepy, they crawl right into bed. And they also know that there's an area for eating. And you can see that we have dry food available. This is the Purina Pro Plan for sensitive stomachs. I like that one because it's salmon based. And then what we do is we fill up a little bowl. See how there's a very little lip on this bowl as compared to the lip on this bowl, which is much larger. And we cover the food in water. And by the way, we do this for our dogs of all ages so that they have access to wet food and dry food all the time. And then there's also a water bowl. There's two water bowls. There's a little tiny water bowl here for them. And then a bit larger water bowl with lots of toys, always lots of toys around. And you can see the playing going on. It is so cute to watch them wag their tails. Let's see if we can wake somebody up over here. Hey, sleepyhead, sleepyhead. Hello, that's Godiva. Hi, Godiva. Good morning. Good morning, and behind Godiva is Truffles. Truffles, you've been playing hard this morning already, haven't you? And so now you're ready for a nap. Can we see your face, Truffles? There's Truffles. Hi. Good morning, Truffles. But gosh, I'm missing lots of playing going on over here while I'm doing that. Oh, Oliver, you just did a, a cute little spin. Yes. Once they realize once they start to have a relationship with me, they want to come crawl in my lap. And then it makes it tricky to video them. But this morning, with the new bag of toys that I opened up, that definitely has their attention. And when you compare them, if you go back and watch some of the video from when they were first born, you'll see how significantly they've matured. Now there's a little game going on here that uh, is an important one for for you to understand if you're getting a puppy, any puppy actually, not just a schnauzer puppy, but puppies play by gnawing on each other. And so sometimes people get anxious. They think, oh, why are they biting each other? Well, this is how they play. See, um, Indy right now is wanting to gnaw on me. So I will always have a, or try to have a toy right by hand so that I can give him something to gnaw on that's appropriate for him instead of my fingers. 
But when puppies play with each other, they will often do things like uh, roll each other over and pin each other down. It's all in play and there's a game going on about dominance. Who's the most dominant? Who's the leader of the pack? And what you're going to hear me say to you over and over and over as you come for training or as we talk about uh, training your puppy is that I want you to be the leader of your pack. And to do that, you have to create structure and boundaries. So structure and boundaries, the area where your puppy has access to. Then you have to create uh, training and exercise. And so teaching your puppy things getting them moving, getting them playing, getting them using their minds every day, and then love and affection. So the love and affection, the, the cuddles, the kisses, the treats, the, all those kinds of things, they are a reward for really great behavior. All right, look at Mr. Little Nestle over here. He's crawled into the food bowl. And so this is part of what my role is, is to teach them that we don't actually go in the food bowl, we stand outside the food bowl. There we go, Nestle's eating his breakfast now. In a few days, the puppies will be transitioning into a larger play space for parts of the day. At night, they'll come back to this area but for significant parts of the day, they'll go to a much larger area. And I wanna make sure that they are going on the potty pads here in this space before they transition to the larger space. So far, they're doing really good. I have four potty pads in the area of space behind me here. And my goal is to get them going on those potty pads behind me at least 90% of the time before they move into a larger space. And I'll be talking to you about doing that same kind of thing when we uh, explore the potty pad training setup for your home. So if your puppy is going to be an indoor dog primarily, we'll help you get that set up in the right way. And if your dog is going to go outside, you're going to put the potty pad near the door where the dog will be going outside and again, I'm happy to help walk you through the whole setup for your own home and um, situation. All right, Miss Ellie Grace, you are having fun today, aren't you? What do you think? They're all coming over to crawl in my lap now that I started. When the other dogs hear the squeaking, they come running and they're standing right here at the gate. So I have a double gate going on at the moment just because of the puppies. So the double gate is this gate which the puppies can't get through. And then I have a larger gate here for the big girls. And of course, mom, Grace, hi Grace, is sitting right here. And Nestle and Sweet Tea and Liberty, all wanting to hop in here and say hello. But I like giving you the opportunity to see the puppies themselves playing with each other. about, huh? You wanting to crawl in my lap again? Yes? So Indy's family will be coming to visit him on Saturday morning, in other words tomorrow, and he will be going home the following Saturday. So we like to send puppies home after they are eight weeks and four days old. So eight weeks and four days old is when they tend to go home. And some of them stay for our prep school training program. In fact, um, let's see, Ellie Grace will be going home when she's eight, eight weeks old. And 
Indy will be going home at eight weeks old, but all the rest of these are staying for puppy training prep school. And so you'll be able to watch them as they go through the puppy prep school experience here. We will continue to video that so you can watch as they learn. We love to share video with you as you are getting our puppies so that you can see the progress. All right, look at these two sleepy girls. These two sleepy girls. This is Godiva and this is Truffles. Oh, yes. Sleepy girl today. And Indy is saying, watch me play with me. Watch me play with me, please. You want to belly rub Indy? Belly rubs for Indy. Belly rubs. All right. Well, we will ask for you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the like button. It really does help us with our channel so that other people can find us also. So thank you for being here with us and we will say see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.